And it's, they help you throw braid farther, okay, uh, without risking your, your fingertips from getting um, a braided cut. Normally, you would, what you want to do, if you follow the directions, is you want to put this directly under the rod. See that directly under the rod. And the reason why you want that is because you want the tip of this cannon, see that tip, this tip here, to line up with the edge of the spool, like this. Okay, now I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but okay, how to attach this? There's no, there's nothing to it, okay? It's just a bare open unit, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna, I use electrical tape. The reason why I use electrical tape is because it doesn't leave the sticky residue like some other tapes do and believe me having sticky residue on this is not a good thing let me show you take this off so when you have your line which is braid because this is what is basically used for is braid see there's the braid I don't know if you can see that here there's braid so what you're gonna do is that trip the bale switch back and you put the braid, see that? It goes around the cannon, the edge of the cannon like that. And you, you push this down, see that? Push it down with your index finger. The line's going out like that. So when you're ready to toss it, it you just let your index finger go and it comes off. Now, the reason for this is because this here is basically the tip of your index finger. That's there to prevent the braid from cutting into your finger. Now, when you um, plugging and you're whipping out your plugs, this will save a lot of wear and tear on your fingertips. If, you, if you're out there um, casting out your baits from shore, this is also great for that. I can get a lot more distance with this. So, from now on, I've been doing it this way. I've been side saddling the... Um, Breakaway cannon on the side, not down the middle. Um, try it. For those of you who have it, try it. You're going to notice a world of difference. For those of you who, who don't have one of these great units, get one. Okay, you got to toss out my bait on my 16 and a half foot Fenwick Seahawk. 14,000 Otega reel. Casting nope. for it. Take one wrap, two wraps. Hold it in. Set the bail. All right, walk it back to my spike. Actually, I need to put the bell on. There we go. I'm going to put a safety cord. Tighten it up. And ready to boogie. Something's taking wax in this one here. I just put down half of a cigar sardine. Something is taking wax at it already. Just tighten up that line a bit. Oh yeah, something's definitely on. Okay. Alright, something small 
I just put it up there. Literally just put it up there. Yeah, there's something small on. I just put this out there. I, I just tried the cigar minnows. I cut them in half. No, it's just walking away. I can feel it bouncing off the bottom. There you go. Now he's on the surface. Oh, look at that. It's a hammerhead. And it looks like it's foul hook too. Look at that. I guess I have to take you off. Alright. Bring you back. Wow. I haven't hooked, follow a hook one like this before. See, so he tried to go for it. We need a follow hook. Very weird. There. And I just use the cigar minnows. I know people like to use this for bait, but I don't. So whatever I don't use for bait, or I don't eat, goes back in the water before he bites me. Okay, there you go, fella. Whew. Oh, at least I was action.